Bycatch is a term that we use to denote anything that's caught while fishing that isn't the intended target. So there's multiple types of bycatch. There's bycatch that's marketed. So those are species that, you know, we didn't set out to catch, but they're still good to eat and they still fetch a good price in market. And then there's the more negative type of bycatch, which is, you know, stuff that isn't marketed or it's discarded at sea. Whenever you go out fishing and you put a net or a hook or a trap in the water, you almost always catch a species that you uh, were not trying to catch. If it's something that isn't used and it's thrown overboard or even retained for scientific purposes, we call that discards. And even target species, there's often minimum size limits and if you catch a little tiny fish that of a species that you're targeting, you have to throw it, you're legally required to throw it overboard. To, discourage fishermen from aiming for small fish. Those are called regulatory discards. You often catch many species that have some kind of commercial value, and so you keep them even if they aren't necessarily your principal target species. Globally, the amount of bycatch has declined a lot. The biggest factor in that has been increasing use of species that used to be discarded. But if a fisherman uh, now, as we do in the U.S., has uh, a certain amount of each species it can catch. The way the rules work, if they have reached their limit on any species, they have to stop fishing and they can't discard them. So to them, they are bycatch. They don't want to catch them and they go out of their way to fish in places where they're not going to catch those, uh, those species, even though they're commercially valuable. In many ground fish fisheries, we have prohibited species species of concern like, let's say, salmon or certainly in Alaska, halibut, the bottom uh, trawl fishermen are not allowed to retain those species. So they have to discard it, or in the case of salmon, uh, they now are allowed to retain it and donate it to a food bank. These are all designed to discourage them from trying to catch those, those species, uh, in those cases because there are other fishermen who are the, the people who have been allocated the, the major right to catch those species. And because of these regulations of not catching different things, we've had to change the way the gear actually operates. So there's been a lot of work on excluders, whether it's a halibut excluder for the bottom net, whether it's a salmon excluder for the bottom net. Small fish excluders, we use those for acre for pollock. One of the boats that we have uh, has a live video on it and you watch the fish coming in all the time and see what they're doing and what's happening. And when you see something that you don't want, right now you slow the boat down and let them go out to the scooter or you, do, or you start the winches to haul back and they go out. Because we have all these, we can continue to just get better and better and better. I can't say that it's going to be a perfect world where we're going to have 100% of this size of fish and only this color of fish and only this kind of fish and only whatever we're trawling, but the amount of bycatch that we get is very, very minimal. It's getting better all the time.